Hi, in this video we are going to con continue the creation of the website. This is a list of suggestions how you should use this video. The notes for this video can be found here at this URL which is loaded here. And you can actually find a code on this uh, find a code here. Okay, by right click on the links and view source and all the good stuff. All right, um, so we slice all the images and these are the images we need. Now we need to code them. And of course, we are coding in HTML5 and CSS3. Another thing we need is a Bootstrap framework. So if you scroll down, okay, if you're at this page, the Bootstrap, there's a link to Bootstrap framework on the right here. You can click on it and you go back to Bootstrap Framework page. Um, Bootstrap Framework is a responsive framework that you can use. It has a lot of CSS classes, uh, so you don't have to code your own CSS. Um, last time when we code, we have to code everything from scratch. So it, it becomes very time consuming when you want to code for multiple mobile devices because um, they have different screen size. So Bootstrap Framework will help you with that. The bad thing is you have to learn the names of all the classes. I actually have a page here that um, have some quick examples of Bootstrap, but this page is on Bootstrap 3 and Bootstrap Framework just came out with Bootstrap 4 and they are very different. And you can choose different um, Bootstrap versions here. They're very different. F 3 and 4 is very different. So we're going to code in 4. So the first thing you need to do is um, you want to download the Bootstrap Framework. So this is the page. If you scroll down here, there's a link to Bootstrap Framework. You can reach there. Um, there's also some notes on Bootstrap for Grid System. You can click on that. It will tell you how the grid works. You know, let me read through this real quick. Okay. Um, so Bootstrap Framework. So you can reach Bootstrap Framework from here or from here. It doesn't matter. You can even Google it. So let's go from here. Okay, so um, we need to download the Bootstrap Framework, but the version I'm using is version 4 beta 2. Okay, so to be safe, I'm not going to go from here because this page will change. Um, I think in a month, so that makes my video outdated. So I don't like to, don't like to go from here. So we are going to choose um, version four. Okay. From there, so make sure you choose version four, and um, and click on the download from the left. So you want to download from here. You can also go from the home page and click on the download button. It is version 4 for now, but it will change. So I will choose the long way to go. Version 4. Download. And download from here. And make sure it's uh, Bootstrap version 4 beta 2. Um, I want to say different versions of version 4 are the same, but I think they are not. So um, if you want to follow this video, you want to look for the look for this version. Okay. So download this and open with that. Okay, so now you have the um, version 4 here. Okay. Before we start, we need to find a place to actually store your version 4 of Bootstrap. So we need to create a subfolder here. You can name it anything you want, but I like to... So you right click in Church32, new folder, I like to call it bootstrap and underscore dist so you have a subfolder here 
and the name of the subfolder is bootstrap underscore dist and make sure it's all lowercase and go into the subfolder use the shift key to choose these two folders and drag it inside so you have this here and go back so now you have a bootstrap framework here so these are just a couple of um, CSS files a lot of CSS classes and a lot of JavaScript files some JavaScript classes so you can read through them if you want it just takes a lot of time and um, so we want to start coding here so first you need a HTML5 template and then you need a bootstrap template I have already created a template so we're just going to download from here example 17 is my template so I can right click here save link as save into your C drive temp web design 2018 church to the 32 and save it as eg017.htm save so this is an empty html file if you right click on it and edit with notepad plus plus you can see that this has a html template it's a html5 template it has the head and the title it has the um, meta names for bootstrap And I don't need this, I'm going to delete this. And there are some keywords, I don't need the keywords. Um, probably I need keywords from my church. So I'm just going to and other good stuff. Okay, so we can add the keywords later. Okay, these are the things you need for Bootstrap. So this link will link to your Bootstrap uh, core, which is in this folder CSS. So this is your core. Okay, and these links will link to um, jQuery and JavaScript libraries on the internet. How do I get this? I get this from the From here, they, they say that, hey, you need to link to your bootstrap, which I did. You need to link to this source file. So this is, this source file is actually, bootstrap.min.js, which, I copy here. And this two files is, Slim and popper, which I copied to here. Okay, so if you want to create your own bootstrap template, you can just go to the documentation and read it and copy it. Meanwhile, I have already downloaded for you, so this is good. So let me save. Ah, probably I should change the title. So you have your template, safe, close it, and obviously I should not call this example 017. For the first page of a website, you should call it index.htm, right? So what I need to do is right click here and rename and type in index htm so you have done that um, okay I can close my bootstrap folder and I'm here okay so we have downloaded the template and um, we have let's look at this file double click on it obviously it has nothing right 
because there's nothing in the body of the, the code. So if you open this, right click, add it with Notepad++, you realize there's nothing in the body. But you do have a title, which is the title we just came in, First Presbyterian Church. Okay, so this is a good place to stop. And um, did I just close that? Yes, I did. Okay, this is a good place to stop. In the next video, we are going to start. We are going to start coding this to make it look like this. Um, thanks for watching.